Hi, this is Erin Clancy at the Iowa Department of Human Services. This video is going to be about uploading professional development and training certificates into your profile. If you haven't already created an account, username and password, please watch those videos first. After you log into iPower, you click on your name, you click on my profile, and then within the profile, you click on my professional development. Once you get to this page, you'll see all of the professional development you've already taken. If it's been approved by DHS or by the IQ4K specialist, you'll see a check mark right here. Also, if you've taken the training through the iPower system, you'll see the check mark automatically. Please do not add training certificates that are already in this section. To add a training certificate that is not already in this section, you'll just click the Add Training Certificate button. You'll enter the title of the training. You'll enter the adult educator or instructor that you see on the training certificate. You'll select the training type or the credit type. You can select any of these options. Sometimes it's for college credit or license renewal, um, or it's just clock hours or CEUs. The system will convert it to clock hours for purposes of DHS. Select or enter the completion date of the training. Enter the organization. You, you may add a description if you wish. The training type needs to be added too. There's an add button over to the right. Click the add button. Select the type of training it is. It's either going to be first aid, APR, universal precaution, mandatory child abuse reporter training, essential child care pre-service training, or ongoing professional development. Click Save. After you enter the training type, you'll need to select the CDA subject area. Select the most appropriate CDA subject area. If it's not on the certificate, just think about what the training was about and select the most appropriate one for the content of the training. Um, for all of the for all of the um, CPR, first aid, mandatory child abuse reporter trainings, that'll be the subject area one. Um, the number of hours in the subject area needs to equal the number of total hours that you added in the um, clock hours. So make sure they match. And then you need to also click the plus button and then click save. After you enter the CDA subject area information, you'll need to enter the content pertains to. Click the plus button. Select whether the content was relevant to and pertains to infant toddlers, preschool, school age, children with special needs, etc. If you choose, if you're trying to get your CDA and you choose all of them, then the CDA won't accept that. It needs to just be within the age group of the CDA that you're requesting, that you're wanting to get. So if you select school age, it will decide that it wasn't specific enough to infants and toddlers or preschoolers. Click the save button. After you enter the content pertains to, you can upload the document. This is the training certificate you received after you've completed the training successfully. Select the document. This document won't be um, clickable or you won't be able to view it for about five minutes. So if you go right back in to try to see it, you won't see it right away. Click I certify that the information I'm entering is correct and complete to the best of my knowledge and click save. Now you've added your training certificate and DHS, the IQ4K specialist, 
for wages will be able to go in there and verify that that information is correct. After they do that, you'll see a green check mark, just like over here. Thank you for watching Uploading Professional Development Training Certificate.